up, Heavy Bees? It's Mr. Farina back again with a wonderful new activity in a new week. As you can see, I use my golf club, but that's not what we're gonna do. Today, you're gonna focus on the skill you've been working on for the last two weeks. You are now gonna be involved with a game called Bowling Golf. And in this game of Bowling Golf, you are gonna be once again rolling around your home or around your house or around the building that you are currently in. So if we play this game, Bowling Golf, you're still gonna use the same technique that you just worked on. You're gonna work on lowering your body, you're gonna work on rolling the ball, you're gonna work on following through, and you're gonna work on trying to get your ball to stop on a certain spot. So for this game, Mr. Freena has created a scorecard. The scorecard's just gonna look like this, bowling golf, and I've got eight holes. You can go anywhere from eight to 10. That's how many holes I really want you to do, eight to 10. Those are the holes that I want you to work on. Now, golf is a little different than any other sport. In golf, your job is to get the lowest score. So by rolling the ball, you're gonna choose something in your home that you're gonna be rolling at. It might be a table, it might be a chair, it might be your trash can, it might be down the stairs. Your job is gonna be to roll at something. If you have somebody else in your house that wants to play with you or play against, certainly do so. Just keep a scorecard with two names and you can write down your names and your numbers of what you get. Now, you can see I have one through eight. Here's my bowling scorecard. I'm gonna write the number next to each of the numbers that I get. Now, the number that you're gonna receive is the amount of turns it takes to knock over or touch one of those things. You'll see that I'm gonna take you through our building and through our school and I'm gonna show you a couple different holes. So for this one, as you roll that ball, you're gonna nicely, once again, belly button towards your target, you're gonna lower your body, bring your hand back, and again, rolling straight forward with a follow through. Keep that belly button facing the target each and every time. Now, everything that I do in today's class, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you some examples. Your job is to create your own golf course by rolling the ball through your house. You might roll it down a long hallway. You might decide to roll it out into the hallway and down the hall and into another room. You might decide to roll it from the kitchen to the living room to the bedroom, living room, wherever you decide, it's completely up to you. All you need to do is make sure you decide what you're aiming at first. So you never wanna just roll it and then say what you're aiming at. So you might say, okay, I'm gonna roll it at the couch, right there, and that's gonna be where you roll. If you miss it the first time, it's okay. We're just playing a game and having some fun. So you're gonna then miss that shot, and then you're gonna get an opportunity to hit it for the second shot. The amount of turns it takes you to get to that spot is the amount of turns that you're gonna write down. So if I hit it in the first shot, it's like a hole in one. So again, you're gonna write a one next to your bowling scorecard, and then you're gonna choose a second hole or a second object to aim for. So watching Mr. Freedom, you're gonna see down here at the bottom of the hallway, right? Yeah. There's actually the Incredible Hulk. He's my friend. The Incredible Hulk is going to be joining us today. I am going to be rolling up the stairs. So you're going to see I'm at the very top. I'm going to get a ball and I'm going to roll it down. Now, if it hits the Hulk on the first chance, that means I get a one. If I miss the Hulk, I'll be nice and close to it. Hopefully, I'll get to roll it again and get a two. Then I'll write a two on my scorecard. You're going to try and get the lowest amount of scores. So if you're playing eight holes, the lowest amount of scores you could get would be the letter or the number eight, because you got a hole in one each and every time. You're not competing against anybody, you're not trying to win the game, you're just trying to do the best that you possibly could do, because I know you honeybees, you guys are rock stars and you're good at rolling. All right, so if you look down where our vaccine is, if you look down and see where the Hulk is, right down there at the bottom of our hallway, you're gonna also see there are many stairs to go down. When I take that ball, I'm gonna take that ball with me, and when I take that ball, I'm gonna actually be organizing it so it goes down those stairs. So let's see how good Mr. Freena can do and see if I can get it next to Mr. Hockey Pants. All right, so I'm gonna take my phone, I'm gonna take my ball, I'm gonna nicely roll it. As soon as I roll it, I'll grab the phone so you can see. So we're nicely gonna use that technique, belly button down, I'm gonna bring the ball back, I'm gonna roll the ball. Let's see how it goes. Oh, oh man. I missed it. So, do I get a one? No. Now I just go down the stairs for my first hole. So since I didn't get a one on my first hole, I've got an opportunity now to get a two. So I'm gonna nicely get my ball wherever it goes. I see the Hulk is standing there, nice and ready for the game. There he is. And I get my ball wherever it goes. And now I'm gonna try and knock it over. Once again with a roll. Oh my goodness, I missed. Do I get sad? No, I just get the ball where it stops, and now I'm gonna roll it. Yes, to get over that hole. 
So now, I rolled it once down the stairs. It didn't hit anything. I rolled it a second time and I missed. But the third time, third time's the charm, I got my Hulk over. So I go to my scorecard, I see bowling golf, and I'm gonna give myself a three. That's what I got on that hole. Now, for your next hole, let's just say that you look through the doorway. And if you look right there, wee, 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 it's Audrey from The Descendants, one of my favorite movies. Now, Audrey, she's far away. Now it's gonna be really tough. We're gonna have to really work hard to try and roll that ball. So I'm gonna put you down so you can see my friend Audrey. No. Nah. Then I'm gonna take my ball, I'm gonna roll it, and hope, 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 come on, Audrey. I hope it knocks her over, it doesn't knock her over. Oh, yes! I got her, I got her, I got her, I got her, I got her. Audrey went down. So, now that was my first roll on that hole. So, because I got a first roll on that hole, now I'm gonna go to my scorecard. I got three the first time. Now, for my second hole, I'm gonna get a number one. Yay! Now, your next one. Let's just say we moved into the gym. So we did the stairs, we went through the hallway. Now what if we went into the gym? Now I'm gonna give you another example of what it might look like. So when you roll the ball, it might look like on the ground, it might look like far away, it might look like Elsa right over here. <laughs> oh, Elsa, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. You're gonna try and knock over Elsa. No, I didn't eat her, I'm just kidding. There she is! All right, so your scorecard, once again, you've got a three on the first hole, a one on the second hole, now it's hole number three. Remember, I tell the person I'm going with exactly what I'm aiming on. So today, I'm gonna aim for Elsa. Let it go. Into the unknown. All right, I take my ball, I'm gonna nicely get ready, I'm gonna make sure I'm lined up, then I roll. Oh man, I missed. Do I get sad? No way, Jose! I'm gonna go get it from where it stopped. Once I get it from where it stopped, I'm gonna nicely roll it. Oh, man! Do I get sad? No, 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 Man, this is really tough. I get it one more time and then I roll. Uh-oh. I think I made a boo-boo. Poor Elsha. Look what happened to my Elsha. Oh no. Elsha lost her leg in the bowling golf game. No! But guess what? I have to give myself a score. So I missed four times. That means I got a five on my scorecard. So the first hole I got a three, then I got a one, I got Audrey over, now I got a five on my scorecard. So once again, I get my scorecard, I put a five, and now I've got my score. Your job now is go to keep going. You can go outside if your parents allow you, you could go inside, down the hall, in the kitchen, in the living room, don't roll it so hard that you're gonna knock something over unless it's what you're aiming for. All right, bowling golf today. You guys did such a great job in actual bowling and you did such a great job in your rolling activity. I decided to give you a bowling golf activity so that you can try and get the best score possible and get that number eight. All right, eight to 10 holes, work on doing it your best. And again, make sure you follow the technique. Belly button target, lower your body, past your kneecap, and then follow through. Got it? Good! Yeah! So, excellent job, friends. I can't wait to hear all about your bowling golf activity. Remember, if you're home with mom, dads, brothers, sisters, anybody, grandparents, play with them, have fun, make a memory. Make PE fun with the people in your home. If not, do it yourself, get better at rolling, get better at the technique, and I'll see you again next week. But for remember, you can't forget the Hamby Champ. I'm a happy, happy bee, and I like to do bee. We laugh, we smile, and we play each and every single day. Hamby, Hamby, go Hamby.
good job, all my bowling golfers. Make sure you do those discussion questions. Get them done. I love seeing your smiling face. I love hearing your answers. And I love seeing exactly what you're doing in PE. So have a great rest of your day. And like last week, don't get too dizzy. And please, please, please be sad for Elsa. The ice princess is broken. No! Bobby's!